yeah hello all welcome back in today's session we are going to cover the other two sales document types which are nothing but value contract or material specific as well as quantity contract sorry scheduling agreement i think we have covered the quantity contract already right yeah so yeah. we have to cover these two here the first one which i am going to cover is value contract material specific mm. okay so if you would like to do or if you would like to create a value contract a material specific then what is the transaction you have to go through which is nothing but wf41 uh -huh. yeah, yeah and the other type is yeah that's what you have told wk2 yeah wk2 and here our sales organization is <coughs> b100 distribution channel is b1 b1 and division is b1 okay see here before creating a value contract material specific we have to know what exactly this one and what is the difference between value contract material specific value contract general as well as between quantity contract okay so here the value contract material specific is specified to a particular material and which is an agreement between the company and the customer for supplying the goods for a particular period of time okay so let me create this one and as i have already told you which is specified only to the particular material mm. see here i am giving the customer number nothing but the sold to party here and let me give some po number and see here the contract starts from this day and the contract will end on this day so we have to give the valid from as well as the valid to here mm. so let me give so valued from as today's date okay and valued to as 2nd february so we can give some description here contract mm. <coughs> number bag then one so here what is our material bag then 150 and the target value is 1000 rupees for example so if you go inside this one okay see this is the material for which the target value is 1000 okay and if this material worth of 1000 deliver to the customer then the contract will get close so let me save this contract now so here the contract got saved so what is the next process to us which is nothing but we have to create the release orders so for which we will use the transaction V A zero one, and here the other type is war, and here we have to give our contract. This is the contract we have created. So let me copy it now. See, 
minimum quantity of 20 bottles for free goods has not been reached actually this is an another configuration related to the free goods but in case of you means in your system you cannot get this uh, message as you haven't configured it yet okay so not an issue we have to click on enter see here let me give some quantity and here the I have given the quantity as 5 and here the net value is 400 so now let me check the incompletion log and let me save it once and if you go back to the contract again where you can see this order see this is the order was created right and the status of the order is still open because we haven't created any delivery or post goods issue or invoice so we haven't created anything so now let me go through the contract again and let me see the released value here what is the target value here it is 1000 but here up to 400 which got released okay and the price of the product is and the price of this material is 80 after all these things means after taxes and everything so if you go inside this one and if you go to the conditions where you can see this the base price is 100 rupees and here some discount is going to be applied to the customer which is nothing but the 20 rupees and here we are charging some tax also as 5 percentage so this is the tax amount and this is the net value not an issue, we will discuss about this in uh, the upcoming sessions while we are going through the pricing procedure and determination all these things. But for now, you have to know how to create the value contract, material, specific and how to create the release orders with a reference to the contract. So now, let me create one more order. And here, create with the reference and here we have to give our contract and let me search see here we can give some quantity and we can save it and let me try to create one more order See, while the contract value is exceeding, then here the system is giving us one warning that the difference rate is this one. If you would like to continue, then you can save the document or if you would like to make the changes, then you have to go through the edit mode and you can do it. That's what we have already done for the previous contracts also. Previous. Mm -hmm. So here let me go through the contract again and see here this is the contract and these three are the three these three are the release orders which were created with reference to the above contract okay and here if you go through the contract again and if you go through the change mode or display mode of the contract then you can see this is the target sorry target value and this is the release value okay and see if you go through the status here then you can see nothing rejected. nothing rejected and nothing open because everything got completed okay here if you would like to change the status of the contract then you can put the reason for rejection that's what already we have covered there right 
and see this is what we can do if no rs has to be get create means if no release rs has to be get create with reference to the contract then we can put the reason for rejection 